Ah. Good girl. Cassie. So is there a reason you ask her to fly to your arm versus your hand? Just because that's what her previous owner did, to be honest. So try it again, but try getting her to land on your hand. Yeah. A little. All right. <laughs> Too slow. Brings the target to her, but yet she doesn't bring her hand to her. I thought she would have naturally, which is why I wanted to try that. So how do I get her to fly to my hand? Then? Okay, so it was really interesting. I didn't say anything because I thought that you would do it naturally because with the target, you bring it to her beak. So I thought, okay, she'll bring her hands to her body, but it's basically with flight training, it's, it's a game of catch. Did you ever see my series on Morgan? No, the Camelot Macaw? Okay. So what happened was Morgan would only fly to me when my back was turned, so when I like couldn't see her. So I set up my phone as like a reverse so I could see her, and then anytime she took flight, I would turn around and put my hand up and catch her. And the reason I had to do that is because she thought that like the best space was going to be my shoulder or my back because previous owners weren't able to hold her steady on their hand. Yeah. So with birds, they'll pretty much choose to go to where they can control and they can hold on. So it's like your shoulder or your back or your arm. And the best way to do it is to simply just catch them on your hand. So when she's coming and you'd normally like do it on your arm, it's switching to here. But if you don't, if you're like feeling uncomfortable about it, we don't have to work on it. Okay. Okay. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Very good. And so then, then the reason that she's going to be inclined from here to walk up your arm into your shoulder is because you're holding her like this. Okay. You want to be holding her like this. Yes. I think I worry. Good. Like I know it's ridiculous, but I worry about dropping her. Dropping her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if she falls, she guess what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's that's one of the things that a lot of people do is they compensate because they're like, oh no, yeah, you're going to fall. Gonna fall yeah. It's worse when you try compensating for them. Like just... Yeah. And because she's got more to grip here in the shower anyway, mm -hmm. whereas here I usually end up with like scratches. And yeah, you'll notice it's just a lot more comfortable. And then earlier you had her kind of here and you weren't sure like how to get her down. It's because yeah. like manipulating that part of your body is really awkward. Yeah. But Dave had her on his hand and was able to just tell her where he wanted to go. So you'll be able to communicate more clearly to her, step off, step on. Mm -hmm versus on the arm, it's an awkward, like, I'm putting you off balance. And she's kind of like, why? That's frustrating. Yeah. Versus a clear communication of, I want you to go here. And so then when you put her down, what do mm -hmm. you do? Just like tilt your hand? Yeah, so if it were me and I was putting her onto the surface, I would come here so that she could step up onto the surface because that's easier than stepping down, down onto the surface. So I would go here and all my momentum and intention would go, I want to set you here. Okay. Do you want to try it? Yeah. I did it wrong. <laughs> yeah. And you can tell because what you communicated was it made it more comfortable for her to go up, up, up mm -hmm. versus going down to the lowest part. Do you want to try it? With her. I don't know if she'll come to me. Can I hold you? Your eyes are kind of flashing. Can I hold you? Good girl. Yeah. See how Jamie's holding her feet? Does that make sense? You can give her a little treat if you want. She's really good about that. Good girl. Okay, I'm gonna stop that recording. I mean, I've you do the same thing, how you would normally do it. Good girl. I should give her the treat for that. Yep. And go ahead and set her back down. Go ahead and put her down. I will put her down. Yep. I feel like I almost threw her off. <laughs> you did. <laughs> she was like, I gotta get her down from here, I gotta get her down. Cool. <laughs> this is all shot in 240 frames per second, so super slow motion. So you see every little nuance mm -hmm. as it happens. 
Look at how clear my intention is and how accepting she is of it. Mm -hmm. Steps up, my thumb grabs her foot and assists with her stepping up. She feels stable the whole time. I reinforce it. Now watch how easy it is for me to tell her to go down. I just, I'm still holding her foot, I'm telling her to go there. And then I let go. So you're not giving her the option to climb up your arm. I'm just making it really clear of my intentions. It's more <laughs> comfortable for her to do the intended behavior than it would be for her to like try to fight it and go up the arm. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the reverse thing, it's more comfortable for her to run up the arm. So that seems more secure. And also by feeling her toes, I'm going to feel her wanting to bite me long before I actually get bit. Mm -hmm. And so it gives me a chance to change that situation before it becomes an issue. Yeah. Let's watch yours. Okay, so your hand's below. She's unsure. Whereas your hand almost came in next to her, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't usually approach straight on, but okay, so she's going. Look at her re-grip. She goes for it, but now look, she's not totally comfortable. Now she's trying to get stable. Mm-hmm. I kept her stable. Yep. Okay. And there, there she would have, if your arm wasn't kinked at your wrist, mm -hmm. she would go up to your arm or into your shoulder. And now try to tell her you want her to go down. See how she's like, uh, but this is more stable. Mm-hmm. Still more stable. <laughs> Still more, and then you, then you chuck her. <laughs> <laughs> right, so look, she's sliding and then she bails. There. So can you see the difference? Like, it's really subtle, that's why we shoot it in slow motion. Yeah. Um, but it, it just highlights kind of why it's important to get in the habit of just grabbing her toes. You can feel her intention, and more importantly, she can feel your intention. Yeah. So you can just tell her what you want mm -hmm. without having to risk like, hey, I feel like I'm throwing you off, or you might go to my shoulder, and you might stuff on my ears, and... Yeah. Okay. But, you know, to be able to take a bird I've never met before and handle it, that's one of the main reasons we're able to. Yeah. Is because we can feel their intention, and they can feel our intention behind their feet. Yeah, see if you can get her to fly over if she wants. She's ready. <laughs> All right, so I'll try and get her to step up again. Is so that a clicker? Yeah, I just moved the target so she wouldn't eat it. Oh. Good. Go ahead and give her a treat. And set her down. Oh, I let go of her thumb. I mean, I <laughs> with my thumb. See if you can set her down. There you go. Okay. Don't feel like you have to treat that. She's still got it. Okay. All right. So I need to hold on to her foot. Cool. That was already a lot better though. Yeah. Uh, one thing that you can start to do is start to pair the moment that your thumb goes on her toe with the tree. Food. Okay. At the same time. Thanks. Good. And right back down. <laughs> she didn't seem to like it. Yeah. So we'll work on it first. You'll yeah. hold it, let go. And actually we'll hold a little longer. Let go, and we'll work on getting that holding of her foot just slightly longer every time. I'm so see it. Hold it. Let's me do confident. it. That's yeah. just how I'm doing it. Yeah. It's brand new for her, so she's used to Maybe. climbing up. And. Good. Yeah. Good job. Cool. And feel free to set on the table. Do you know how delicately you had to move? You're walking like this with her. I don't need to. Well, <laughs> it's only because you don't have her feet. Yeah. Once you have her feet, you can move more confidently. Yeah. Good, and back down. Excellent. Okay. Does that feel a little bit more uh, comfortable for you? Yes. And she didn't resist it as much that time either. Mm -hmm. Any? She's landing too high up on my hand. Okay. I need to move to catch her. I need to move to catch her. It's, it's like her if, it's if, me. I, it's if me. I threw you a tennis ball, <laughs> you're not going to catch it with your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> I sweet. need to move to catch her. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right.